What's up guys, welcome to a new video. Uh, this one's gonna be a bit of fun today because we have got the Audi R8. It's just been brought over from Saudi Arabia. The car is from Dubai originally and it's touring the region. I'll tell you a bit more about the car as we drive it around. Without further ado, let's jump in and test it out. So we are in the car, we are gonna start the engine and hear how this thing sounds. I know it's got a gorgeous, gorgeous sound to it. It is a 5.2 litre V10 engine and kicks out 540 horsepower. So we have a load of power to play around with. So let's start this engine and see how it sounds. So the story behind this car is currently in Bahrain. I think it's here for two or three weeks. It's touring. The car is from Dubai, as you can see. It's got the Dubai number plates on the car. It's touring the Gulf. It's just come from Saudi, so we got it here for a bit of time. Um, I have driven the R8 quite a few times before, so I am quite familiar with it. But every time I get in this car, I absolutely love it. I always forget how much fun these cars are. You could drive this car every day. You wouldn't want to. Uh, but certainly compared to more of the others, it is more of an everyday car. You do have the obvious problems, it's extremely low to the ground, so getting in and out of the car, certainly being uh, six foot two, can be a bit of a pain if you're doing it multiple times, if you're stopping for coffee, stopping at the shop, stopping at the office, going to meetings. Um, but it is a very fun car, and I find there is more comfort uh, if you're driving it on a long-term, regular basis in comparison to a lot of the other supercars. However, I do have to say with this car, uh, it's not designed for tall people because I've got the seat as far back as it can go, as low as it can go. As you can see, my legs are bent trying to fit into the car, so a little bit more space would be nice, but there is no space behind to move the car further back. Something I do love about the Audi R8, and not just the R8, all of the Audi RS models, certainly in recent years, is they are so responsive you know, almost too responsive. You, you, you're very delicate with your foot because every movement, every movement is picked up in the steering, uh, in, the, in the braking, in the acceleration. We're just about to go around this roundabout and there's a straight road here which where I can put my foot down a bit and I will not be breaking speed limit. using a yellow R8. Yellow looks really good and I think certainly in this region when you're in an area where the sun's always shining and you've got the blue skies, yellow just looks, it just sort of blends in and works a lot better compared to England for example where it's always cloudy and you got the rain and it makes the car dirty. The yellow looks really good and the black wheels goes really well with it. All right, we're just a uh, quick coffee break because uh, coffee is life feeling like I need a bit of a caffeine here. So I'm gonna run to Starbucks, grab a nice coffee, and continue the drive. And then we want to try and find somewhere, I'm not sure where, where we can test the uh, launch control, which I'm really excited for, and just try and get the speed up a bit. We wanna find somewhere that has a straight road, doesn't have speed bumps, and somewhere where there is no other cars, so we can absolutely floor it and not go past 120 kilometers an hour, which is the national speed limit on these roads. So I'll be back, coffee time. one thing with this car it's not the most of practical of cars because I am trying to find somewhere to put my coffee and I don't know if it's just me <laughs> I don't think there's anywhere to hold my coffee so I think I'll just have to balance it between my legs seriously seriously is there nowhere where I can put my coffee CD player Ah, we found it. Secretly hidden. Secretly hidden. Okay, cool. All right, we like that. Another thing, compromises on super sporty cars is the visibility. The visibility when you're, the visibility when you're driving forward is 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 fine, but when you're reversing and trying to get out, there's so much going on and there's so many blind spots. 
I mean, you've got a great camera through the steering wheel. I'll let this car pass. You've got the reverse camera, which is just here behind the steering wheel, which is great. But these blind spots are uh, they're they're pretty they're pretty tricky. Um, but I guess that's something that you get used to over time driving a car like this. Okay guys, so we just did the launch control. <laughs> Absolutely out of this world on another level. 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in 3.6 seconds. That was really, really awesome. I really love this car. And uh, sadly, I'm about to, I do have to take this car back very shortly and I, I don't want to drop it off. Okay, we've had a slight technical difficulty because Angelo didn't fully charge the camera and we've just run out of battery. So we are now filming from the GoPro. Anyway, we are here for the sound test and we're going to test the sound and the quality of the speakers. I don't know how well the GoPro is going to pick it up, but let's going to give it, a, let's, Let's give it a go. We're going to uh, take this back to the showroom and drop it off. But to wrap this up, I've got to say, uh, I'm really impressed. I love this car. I've had so much fun. Um, I have driven it a couple of times already, so I'm, I've got a bit of experience behind the wheel of an R8. But it, it, it's probably one of the most practical supercars and value for money. I think the price range for this is somewhere between 60 to 65,000 BD. They are so well made. It's very stable. It's, it's great fun. It's good to drive. And as I said, it's something that you could quite easily drive every day. And... <laughs> I don't think you could get bored of a car like this. And I love the color. I think honestly, if I were to go for an Audi, I like to say I'm modest and humble, but <laughs> I do really like this color. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. Apologies for being a bit silent the last few months. We've just had a lot going on in the business. So I've been focusing on other things, but I'm gonna try and keep the content up with all the fun things we get up to in Bahrain and the Gulf. So stay safe, please subscribe, like this video, and see you next time.